Hello everybody, welcome back to Nino Cooney, Wrath of the White Witch. Now let's get that cheese we need to get to the Kalufa. Hello running boy. Jump, 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 jump. I like pushing the jump button with the circle. Anyway, let's see. Let's get the milk. So, these are the fountains of milk. Gee, is that real cheese for real? <laughs> of course, the freshest, famous milk there is. And there is so much of it, you can't just keep trying until you get it right. Keep trying. You think I can't do it, huh? I didn't mean anything by it. Come on, you've got to conjure up some cheese. Okay. Now, do you know how cheese is made? Sure, you heat some milk, then you add lemon and salt, and you skim the solid part off the top, and it turns into cheese. After a few days, you know this process takes days, right? At least I think it does. Blimey, a regular cheese smuggler you are. This should be cheesy peasy then. All you need is the right spell, ain't it? Sure, let me take a look. Okay, let's turn this thing to cheese. We need secret ingredients. There you are. Yeah. Look at that. It's simply looking. It really is. There's... You're so good at magic, Oliver. I bet you can even make sweet if you put your mind to it and cake. Oh, I could just eat a... Hey, stop that. I'm trying to concentrate. I feel fucking. That's big. Oh, and there are cakes. Uh, except that cake looks drawn. Everything else looks 3D except for the cake. The cakes look like it was drawn in there. Seriously, it does not look look at look like it would fit with this style at all. Look at the flipping size of that month, and you went and made some sweets as well. That's that's your fault. <laughs> I bet you wanted some too, though, didn't you? You shouldn't dread your strip to someone when they're trying to cast a spell. To stop someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't be like that. Now we can go and see the Kalufa. Our present a little on the large side, but I suppose it won't. It will matter. The bigger the better, I reckon. Please, let's see these terrible cheese. Mm hmm. Let's do so. Oh, boy, we got cheese. It's big, though. Good day to you all. How may I, may I be of service? We brought some cheese to give to the Kalufa, Mr. Abo, sir. Cheese? Please, this should be the ancient. I I thought there was none remaining in all the land. The Kalufa just can't get enough of it, huh? huh? How did you hear of this? It's a secret only, secret known only to those within the palace. No matter, you are correct. Her Majesty is indeed a great admirer of cheese and is in its, in its many forms. She will undoubtedly grant an audience to any who bearing such a gift. Please, you must follow me quickly. Mm-hmm. Jeevers, that's the Khalifa? He's big. She probably ended up this way because of Shadar, the stinking rot bag. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm, what is the divine aroma? Abu! Hear your majesty. Bountiful Kaulifa, whose humble servants what? come bearing most delicious tribute. Whoa. Heavens, what a dear sweet child. Bring it to us now, there's a good boy. Please. Uh, huh? You want me to take it to her? Quickly now, young man, bring it to us. Hurry! Oh! Mm -hmm. 
This is a blast of machine, I think we need to get something out. I know she's eating cheese, but it could be interpreted something else. Delicious cheesy oh. wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? Cowlifa, if you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull? We are hungry! Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? But... She might not look broken-hearted, but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her Majesty's lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? Okay. That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favors out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help her majesty. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm starting to think that the enemy cutscenes are at a different frame rate than the rest of the game. Restraint, huh? Can you think of anyone with a lot of restraint, Esther? Hmm, let me see. There must be someone. We can use the locket to try and look for someone, but there is. this is a big town. Let's try the shopkeeper first, shall we? That's a neat idea, Mr. Trippy. The people who own the shop know everybody in town, and they hear all the news too. They do, don't they? Great. Let's ask the, all the shops then. Mm hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah, oh, is that so? Well, well, well. So, they got into the palace, did they? And what did they talk about? Did this day now? Okay. Keep me posted on what's going on inside. And my payment? Don't worry, you'll get your reward. By the next time we meet, I'll have scored you something decent. Do you mean that you will steal something? No, 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 don't be stupid. Uh, it's just a figure of speech. Now, concentrate on the job at hand, will you? I'm counting on you to be my eyes and ears. Don't let me down. Okay, what is this guy in green up to? He's not there anymore. Okay, now let's just get to the shop. We actually only need to go to one shop. All the other shopkeepers are flashing though. But we do not need to see who what they are saying. Because our shop target is the star, which is the weapon shop. Okay, how much money do I have? Okay. I just wanted to check how much money I have. Now, let's get into the weapon shop and get our information. How can you look trouble? Well, it's just equipment through to survive. And we do not want your equipment. Um, actually, we came to ask you something. We need to find somebody with a lot of restraint, but nobody seems to know a person like that. You must be looking in all the wrong places. Unless I'm raving mad, I know just the person. You... Oh, you do, do you? Who is it? Please, you have to tell us. A bull, of course. A bull? Oh, our thing was not glowing. Seriously, it should have been glowing in that cutscene. Really, this is just a game mechanic. If I had his patience, I'd be crawling or all over town. A bull? That's right. The little bird told me quite a story about him. It was a few years ago now. One day, the Kalupa decided that out of the blue that she wouldn't break content until she was taste all the cheeses in the world. Oh, so she's been this way for a few years, has she? Cheese? I guess she really she is just like Miss Leia, huh? Without a moment's hesitation, a bull set off to rook for them all. Through forests, across oceans, 
He went battering by blizzards and often surviving on little more than a wing and a prayer. But finally he came home to roost and when he did it was with a court pile high with every cheese under the sun. How blimey it must have been stank. Now that's what I call restraint and by goodness does he need it with her Majesty's crowning on at him all the time. Frankie, that's impressive. He did all that. He risked his life and everything just so her Majesty could have a snack. Heidi, I think we've found our man, Ollie Boy. Nico, we should go find him right away. Mm hmm. Now you have to get back to him now. Back to the palace. Ah. Back to the palace now. Yeah, some of these things will be no battles at all. Let's get to it. Now the guards will not stop us. And we are now in. Hey, Majesty! We found your strength! It's right here, in your palace, by him! <laughs> Mr. Mole, sir, we found out about somebody with a whole lot of strength. You did? This is excellent news. You must tell me who it is. It's you! Me? But impossible! Not in the slightest, Peter Patience. Look at Ollie Boy's lock, it's blowing up a tree. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now it is though. Why was it not doing that earlier, I wonder? Would you let us borrow some of your restraints, Mr. Rubble? Um, well, I, I, of course you may. For her man, for you to see anything. What must I do? There's nothing to it. Just lie back and think of all the moon. Well, get on with it, Ollie Boy. Sure, here goes. Mm -hmm. Take part. All done. Alrighty, and this is truly enough to restore her majesty to her former glory. You bet. Mm-hmm. Mmm, cheesy weezy, mountains of delicious cheesy weezy. And all for us. Why does she speak in the plural sense? Mmm. She's got cheese on the flipping brain here. Even even dreams about the stuff. Quick, Ollie boy, magic her better, will you? Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Give heart. Here's your restraint. Go get in my controller. Oh, see you Feeling it. Oh dear. I feel hurt. I don't think she's not wolf. Humble servants made your Majesty's ailing heart whole again. <laughs> That's true. I pray that our beloved Caliph's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dearest subjects. 
Hmm, I guess that's true. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can, and we are simply itching to return to our labors. Munificent Khalifa, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Indeed they should. Boy, is there something you desire? Yes, Your Majesty. If it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? <laughs> Ooh, a little floaty wooty. Yes, of course. Oh, that's good. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to us. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. You will? Gee, thank you, your majesty. Tidy, the boat is in the bag. Mm -hmm. But why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wote? Yeah. You still gave it to us, though. Mm-hmm. The lair package. Good. Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, we asked you a question, did we not? Yeah, we want an answer. Well, uh. Go on, man. Okay. We need to find one of the great sages. The Great Sages? Hmm. Yes, we are aware of them. Abul, we know of them, do we not? Um, one of them lives in your town, so I should guess yes. Indeed, most learned Khalifa. But little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the Great Sages, travelers? We need their help. We need their power. To defeat Shadar. Mm hmm, that's true. <gasps> what? Is, is something wrong? <laughs> we are not unamused. I guess that means she does not believe us. But we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well. We will tell you what we know. That's good. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were once four great sages. We understand that one of them was defeated by Shaddaa. Mm -hmm. Mom. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Hamlin. A detestable and warlike realm. Perfect. Uh, but he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. Okay. A ball. Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. So this is one of the great sages, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. That is lucky. Wait a second. He looks a little younger than uh, your father, Esker. So how old is this picture? <laughs> now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Really? You're a wizard too, your majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully fledged wizard, perhaps, but we royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Here. Nature's tongue. 
So this is useful. We'll be using that. Burden. Um, this is a okay spell. Oh yeah, man. That's a cracker. That is a real classic. Like. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yeah. May it serve you well. Do be careful out there now, won't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, nature's tongue is allows us to talk to animals, just to tell you. Well, burden is an attack spell that makes our enemies heavier and makes them unable to move for a little while. Yes, we just got that from a big gigantic lady. Okay, now, oh, there's a side quest here. Let's deal with it. Let's deal with this random side quest that popped up. Right in the front, okay. <laughs> you. Where could they be? Laudering somewhere along the way, no doubt? Are you waiting for somebody? Hmm, oh, uh, I am not waiting for people. I keep pigeons and it is for them that I am waiting. I send them out to deliver messages across the land, but unfortunately several have failed to return. I worry that they may have flown the coop. Jeez, I hope nothing bad happened to them. Oh no no, this happened before. They're probably drinking from the milk fountains, but I have a mess I have messages for them to deliver. If you have time, would you be able to find them for me? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. I search for the victims myself, but I cannot leave here in case they return while I'm gone. All three of them are in all, three of my birds have yet to return. They must have all returned to Alma Moon by now. I'm sure you will find them somewhere in the city. Leave it to us. So leave it to the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, my lad. Your feathered friends will be back before you can say Pigeon Pie. <laughs> Thank you. Pigeon Pie, where are they? Okay. If one of them is this one, it doesn't fly away. And, and that symbol, whenever that pops up, is a talking animal symbol. So you go to Nature's Tongue, which costs us 2 MP, and we can talk. I'm too scared to go home. I don't want to be eaten. Uh, uh eaten? What do you mean? Yeah, you understand me? Are you are a human. I am, and you are in the mascot. I need to come find you. He did? Did he seem angry? Last time I was late home, he said he would eat me if I ever did it again. I'm sure he didn't mean it, little birdie. He was probably just angry because he sucked off work. You ain't ya? Yeah, he seemed awfully worried about you. Oh, yeah, he seemed awfully worried about you. You really, you really want to come home. You, you really do so? Alright, thank you for coming to find me. <laughs> one bird down. Heidi, one down, two to go. Mm -hmm. Time to get to the other milk fountain. <laughs> Jump, 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 jump. I guess that's got a girl from Castaway Toad. Jump, 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 I don't want to fly home yet. I want to fly here for a little longer. But you're a passenger that needs delivery. Passenger that needs delivering. You have to go back, little birdie. What? You scare me, silly. How can you understand me? Who are you? Never mind that. Just go on home. Your master is really worried about you. He is? Too. But I have to fly so far away to deliver his messages. You sure you do? But people need those messages, so they are counting on you. But I suppose you are. I suppose they are. They always seem ha so happy to receive them. Alright, I'll go home. Thank you for coming to find me. 
Okay, the, there's one more to find. Mm -hmm. The last one is in a very concealed place because it's not outside. Alright. I hate to find this one because it does not appear on the map. But it's right in this one right here. Okay, we're in. Now, let's see. There you are. How did you get in here, I wonder? Hey, it's a bird. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you are. Hey, Mr. Pigeon, your master is waiting for you to come home. You have to go back. Is that? Is it the time? I was miles away. Oh, sorry. I got to check you on the way home. I see. Straight back. Thank you for coming to find me. Mm -hmm. That's all of them. Hey, let's go back and see the pigeon. Jim boy then. Shall we? I bet you'll be a nice thank you for us. Mm -hmm. He will. Let's see if there's any items we need here. Hmm, let's get some iced coffee. Okay, anything else we need? Nope. And uh, there. Um. Okay, five crunchy carrots and some. Yogurt and some babana. Okay. Now let's get our reward. Yeah, jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. <laughs> get our reward from him. How can I ever thank you? All my pigeons have come home to roost, thank you. Here, I hope this is enough to express my gratitude. Please, you must take it. Mm -hmm. Two phoenix treasures. I'm going to go there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've done that side quest. So, all side quests done here at the moment. So, let's get on to Castaway Cove. We're skipping up to Castaway Cove and... You know, so, let's get to Castaway Cove. See you there. Right, so first things first, let's go and let the captain know we're back, shall we? He lets us straight into the boat. We can let to change into our bathing suits first, huh? Really? That's a shame. I was starting to like mine. I can't wait to go over there and over the letter of passage and show Captain Snow's boss. Let's do it. We have to clue to find us the next. Great sage, shall we're off. It's funny though, isn't it? That someone so young to be a sage, I mean. He's so much younger than my father. Thank you for noticing, Esther. And darn sight more handsome, and that's all, huh? We need to get to Hamlin right away. Come on, let's get to see the captain. Mm-hmm. Ah! <laughs> I'll have that. Thank you very much. Him again. No, the picture, it's gone. What? And the layer of passage too. He stole them both. Cranky, he's a pain in the neck. That one. Come on then. We best get after him, ain't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we doing that next time. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> 